The great semiconductor shortage which started in 2020 proceeds into the modern day, and with chip technology in such a high demand, organizations are globally facing new challenges. With a multitude of reasons for the shortage, we're looking into the top five predictions regarding chip technology in 2022. But before we start, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications to make sure that you stay up to date with all the latest in enterprise tech. Five, new regulations and acts from government bodies. The EU Chips Act was recently initiated in Belgium in order to help fight against any potential supply chain shortages that have plagued the tech sector since the start of the pandemic. Now, according to the European Commission's website, in their own words, it will mobilize more than 43 billion euros of public and private investments and set measures to prevent, prepare, anticipate, and swiftly respond to any future supply chain disruptions, together with member states and our international partners. One can only expect other government bodies to follow suit, particularly those that are trying to get ahead in the chip arms race. Four, increasingly heavy demands on chip manufacturers. Facebook's change to Meta last year surprised, confused, and alienated many people within the tech sphere. However, the most concerning thing about it is that parts of it might actually be impossible to build and implement. If a world where billions of people can access a metaverse on their phones sounds unrealistic, that's because, well, it is. This puts a much greater demand on chip manufacturers and semiconductors, thus providing even greater problems for startups that are looking to build new software within the metaverse. Three, semiconductors to save countries' economies. The pandemic meant that many organizations weren't able to trade and export with other countries as easily, which led to a slowdown in economic growth for countries all over the globe. India, however, is using the demand for semiconductors to their advantage. Recently, India received proposals worth 20.5 billion US dollars from five companies to manufacture semiconductor fabs and display fabs, which should help their economy recover in the near future. Two, semiconductor shortage to last longer than expected. Every aspect of human existence is becoming more digital, and everything digital runs on semiconductors, says Intel CEO Patrick Gelsinger, which makes the current semiconductor shortage all the more intimidating. Gelsinger also predicts that this shortage might last longer than expected, and he may not be wrong. Given that 70% of cobalt, an essential component for semiconductors, comes from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and 60% of all semiconductors are created in Taiwan, one small interruption could make the shortage hard to recover from. 1. China to reach another record year in VC funding Venture capital funding poured into China last year, making it reach a record-breaking $130 billion through its startups. The primary way it did it was by investing in chip technology and semiconductors. While the USA also broke a record-breaking year last year, analysts suggest that President Joe Biden will need over 52 billion US dollars in order to counter China. And that's a wrap for this week's Emerge 5, but we will be back next week for another exclusive episode. Remember to visit em360tech.com for more great daily content. I've been Rose Hurley, and from all of us here at EM360, have a fantastic day.